Hello everyone. Welcome back to this online class. Today we are going to look at how to find the integral curves of symmetric differential equations. In particular, we are given the equations dx over x plus y is equals to dy over x plus y, which is equals to dz over negative of x plus y plus 2z. So when you talk of integral curves, they're just two unique solutions of the given symmetric differential equations. Now, there, there are three methods of finding integral curves. The first method is the method of multipliers. Another one is the exact differential method. And another method is that of once you get the first uh, solution, you can't be able to use it to get the second solution. But there's no direct method of solving such kind of equations. It is through intuition, trial and error method. So for these equations, look at uh, the first equation, dx over x plus y, and the second equation, dy over x plus y. So you realize that, uh, let, let's write here case one, we are getting the first uh, solution, case one, I'm, I'm going to consider the first y because z is absent, z is absent. absent from the first and the and the second fractions. That's very clear. So we can equate them and solve for I also simply we integrate. So we are going to say that uh, the x of uh, x plus y should now be equal to dy over uh, x plus y. And so you see x plus y will cancel with this other x plus y. And so now we can say that uh, this means that dx is equals to dy. Now you can integrate both sides. So this, when integrate, you're going to get x is equals to y plus a constant C1 of integration. Or you could write this as X minus Y is equals to C1. So this is the first integral curve, the first solution. We need to obtain two unique solutions. So we have found the first one and call this the first integral curve. First integral curve. Let's see if we can find another one. Now, I want to use uh, our solution in the first case to get the solution in the second. Okay, so we are going to write here case two. Case two. Here, I'm going to consider or simply use, use the solution in case one to find the second integral curve. So you could decide now to equate the first and the third or the second and the third. So le let me pick the second fraction and the third fraction, those two. So you can write from the first and the third fractions from the uh, not first that we have picked the second and third fractions 
we have so we are going to write uh, the second is dy of uh, x plus y we are equating this to dz over negative x plus y plus 2z so what do you realize that uh, we need to eliminate the variable x because we have picked the dy and dz so we don't need x in this in this uh, kind of a problem so the task is to eliminate x eliminate x so what substitution do we make go back to what we got we got here that x is equals to y plus c1 so you put where there is x it will be equal to y plus c1 that's what you substitute so that uh, therefore this will imply that uh, we now have dy over x which is y plus c1 plus another y is equals to dz over negative of uh, y plus c1 plus y plus 2z of which I can simplify this to the dy over I can see the c1 plus 2y is equals to dz over negative c1 plus 2y uh, plus 2z. These are not the e. Let me rearrange it. This thing can be written as you write or dz over dy is the same as negative c1 plus 2y plus 2z is a bracket over c1 plus 2y. And if you simplify, this will give us negative c1 plus 2y over c1 plus 2y then plus 2z over c1 plus 2y. And so this can now be written as negative of 1 plus 2z over c1 plus 2y. Or I could rearrange it so that I have dz over dy uh, plus 2 over c1 plus 2y times z is equals to negative 1. I have rearranged it. Remember, I have taken this to the uh, left hand side. On the right, on the right hand side, it is negative. So when we it cross, crosses over to the left hand side, it becomes uh, positive. So this is a first order ODE. This equation is linear in the dependent variable z. So we are going to solve it using the integrating factor method. This is linear. ODE in Z as the dependent variable. So our integrating factor is simply equal to exponential of the integral of the coefficient of Z. You pick it with the sign is positive. So we are integrating 2 over C1 plus 2Y. Integrate it with respect to Y. And when you integrate that, you're going to use a u substitution. Let u be equal to c1 plus 2y, which I know at this level, you should be able to know how to uh, integrate using the u substitution method. So this should give us exponential natural log of uh, c1 plus 2y 
And so you see the exponential and lean will cancel. So this should now give us C1 plus 2Y. That is our integrating factor. So let us call this equation uh, star. So we are going to multiply equation star by the integrating factor to get this equation. You can write multiply. equation star by the integrating factor. So what are we going to get? It will be C1 plus 2y times dz over dy plus 2z is equals to negative C1 plus 2y. Now, when you look at the left-hand side of this equation, this left-hand side can be grouped into derivative with respect to y of the product of the dependent variable that is z and the integrating factor is c1 plus 2y. Normally, it is the product of dependent variable and integrating factor. And our right-hand side, is simply negative of C1 plus 2y. So when I cross multiply by dy on both sides, I'm going to get derivative of z into C1 plus 2y is equals to negative C1 plus 2y dy. So we are going to integrate both sides of this equation. And remember there will be a constant of integration which we are going to call C2. So when you integrate the left hand side, you know that integral and derivatives are inverses of each other. So those two will cancel out so that uh, our integral here will now be equal to z times C1 plus 2y is equals to negative C1y plus y squared. Then there's a constant C, C2 of integration. So that is our uh, second integral curve. Let me replace uh, the C1. So once you have found your solution, we now need to replace C1. So you can write here that uh, replace C1. So what did we get at C1? We are going to substitute uh, put, you write put, where the C1 is supposed to be x minus y. That's the substitution. So let's substitute here. We see what you're going to get in the simplest form. So uh, you can say or z into x minus y plus 2y then uh, the other one is equals to negative uh, C1 is x minus y, this is times y, plus y squared, plus C2. Or I can now open the bracket, this is z, then inside we have x plus y is equals to, here we have xy uh, minus y squared, plus y squared plus c2 or you can write z into x plus y is equals to you see here the this one will cancel with this other one so we'll have negative xy negative xy plus c2 which simply means that uh, 
we can now write z into x plus y plus xy is equals to c2. So what you have found here is the second integral curve, another unique solution. So this is the second integral curve. So uh, we have found the two unique solutions. If there's another one, you can also find it, but any two unique solutions will be enough to solve that kind of symmetric differential equation. If you are asked to find the integral surface, then I just want to take a note here. Okay, let's take a note. Somebody can ask you to find the integral surface. So you can write NB. That in any case, you are asked to find the integral surface. Remember, there's a difference between integral curve and integral surface. An integral surface is phi of C1, C2 is equals to zero. It must be equal to zero, where phi is an arbitrary function. So in this case, we are going to write phi of our C1 is x minus y. And our C2, we have found z. Uh, I can open the bracket here. So that I have zx plus zy plus xy. And this is supposed to be equal to zero. Or this thing can also be written as I could factor out one of the parameters so that I have zx plus zy plus xy is equals to phi one of uh, x minus y. That's another way of writing it. Or you could decide to make z the subject. Or, you see this can be written as z into x plus y is equals to negative xy plus phi one of x minus y. And now you could divide by x plus y. But you can write that in so many forms, but that is what you mean by the integral surface. In this case, phi one is an arbitrary function that if you are given some constraints uh, to be satisfied, then you could be able to find the value of the arbitrary function phi one. So thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is uh, Professor Francis Okech. When you go to the YouTube search, type Francis Okage or Prof. Francis Okage and uh, you will find me right there. Also, don't forget to comment, to like, and also to share this video. When you meet next time, we look at more problems on uh, solving symmetric differential equations. Bye-bye.